Hey everybody, I'm Spectral Star, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Delta Rune, an anagram for Undertale. I played Undertale a while back, not on the channel. Just, just you know, to see what the the, the hubbub was about, bub. Oh man, I, I we don't know if this is a sequel or a prequel or what, but it's already going on. Truly excellent. And I can already tell you right now that the audio is truly excellent. I'm enjoying it so much. But this is going to be a, an RPG-like Let's Play, I assume. It's by the same guy that created Undertale. And that was an amazing game. First, you must create a vessel. Alright, so let's create a vessel. Select the head. Which do you prefer? Well, I guess I want to make him look like me a little bit. Uh, uh, I guess this one. This has controller support, which is awesome. Select the torso that you prefer. Not a whole lot of options. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a sleeves rolled up kind of guy. Select the legs. I got, I got huge feet. Well, I don't, I don't really think it's, you know, why are the legs so disproportionate? I'll go with the last one because I don't know. This is your body. Do you accept it? I guess. <laughs> Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. I have, have I? Now. Let us shape its mind as your own. Ooh. What is its favorite food? Well, I'm kind of a... Pain? Cold? Um, I like sweet food. I love corn. Corn's delicious. Your favorite blood type? I don't even remember. I think I'm a bee. I don't know. I don't remember. That's sad, isn't it? That I, I If I ever, like, lose a ton of blood, I'm screwed. What color does it like most? Uh, blue. Please give it a gift. Um, ambition. Probably give me more experience or something. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. <laughs> Disgusted by it. No, um... I have hope for it. My, my, my creation. You answered honestly, yes. What if I said no? Would it take me all the way back? You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Well, I hope you guys do too. I guess that's its warning for seizure-inducing flashing and stuff. I know that on the website it had something like that. Um, just be careful, you know. Understood. Name your vessel. Um, spec? Let's see how much I can get in. Oh, dang it! I screwed up and hit the diagonal. Spectrals. Sure. We'll call it Spectrals. <laughs> and what about the creator? I think when it turned yellow, it pretty much said that I couldn't uh, do any more text anyway. Um, okay, well, I... Sure. Let's go with my middle name. Why not? Chase. Alright. Yes. Excellent. Good. I'm glad you agree. I like my middle name better than my first name. Truly excellent. Chase. Thank you. For your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for this free game. Your answers. You're wonderful. Oh yeah, by the way, your wonderful creation will now be discarded. Oh wow. No one can choose who they are in this world. That, ain't that the truth? Your name is... Apparently it's Chris now. Is that Goat Mom? Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. 
I will wait outside for you, all right. Okay, sounds cool. By the way, guys, in the description below, there's a link to the free game if you want to download it from their official website. So, you know, you can play it for free. It's just chapter one, though, but I hear chapter one's pretty long. It's like two hours. Red wagon with a rusty birdcage. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Hmm. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross country shirt with the tear. A tear in it? A tear. There are CDs under the bed. Classical jazz, religious, ska. It's also a game console. It has normal has one normal controller and one knockoff one. So you're twelve, right? It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Excuse me, I'm sorry if you are 12. I was 12 and I had stuff like that. It's a beautiful day outside. Looks like the Triforce on the carpet there. There are many books. Tales of Snails. A storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. So this does have connections with Undertale. So it could either be a sequel or it could be a prequel. Or maybe it's just another, it's like Final Fantasy. It's just another story about stuff like this. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. But in the last one, yeah, there was like this huge divide between humans and monsters. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. Ooh. <gasps> Reflections in a video game? It's only you. Well, we'll have a little pride, son. The door is locked. Oh no! Why would it be locked? Almost went upstairs. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. Anything good in the fridge? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Oh wow. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Goat mom! <laughs> There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove top cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans okay it's a trash can somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent it's a landline phone but you already have a cell phone landline's important you should have a landline just in case i kind of want to go through that other door but i want to inspect this area it's a chariel the beloved living room chair chariel the TV doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. Hmm. It's a book of hymns. Okay, cool. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Oh well, okay. Chris, it is a beautiful day today. Is it not? It sure is. I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, Will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Ezreal. I've heard that name before. It sounds like an angel's name. Oh, wow. This, this is so cool. I recognize that police officer. I don't... I know it's from Undertale. I just don't remember Undertale that well. I know that's sad. That's messed up. Hold my hand, son. Get embarrassed, son. Oh, goat mom loves you. I like how she's wearing glasses. It's adorable. So where does she go? Is she a teacher? Does she teach? Oh, wow, it's you. Okay, so does everyone have a... All right, I remember that character. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Sure! Crisp. <laughs> oh, Verzors. Tim already have partner. Okay. What the heck is that? It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. Dang it, I wanted to partner with that hard-boiled egg so hard! Okay. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. Haha. -ha. Now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy, partner, like a cowboy. <laughs> okay. Partner? I hardly know her. Ha ha ha. What do you think of that one? Funny, right? 
No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Now scram! Alright, I'm leaving. Oh, look at this guy's face. The smug. Smuggery. Aw, oh, Chris. Late night, I see. Um, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partnered with the second smartest student. No, wait, Chris. Now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help out a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not! I actually want to get an A! Okay, asshole. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lots on it? Well, ain't she adorable? Huh? You want to be partners? Mmm, sorry. Birdly already asked me. Aw. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. That's Alphys, yeah. I'll ask if you're sure. Yeah, ask. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No. I don't approve of this. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying, we're fine being alone. I have to give him that voice, I'm sorry. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, you can... Can you please speak up? What the heck is that? Hello, five... Oh, Susie. Why fives? Okay. So it's a girl? Am I assuming it's gender wrongly? Am I late? Oh, no, no. You're fine. We were just, uh, choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Okay. So, the teacher's apparently intimidated by this... monster? <laughs> now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Kind of looks like Barney. I'm sorry. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing and... You all know I can't start class without some. Who's taking the chalk? How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? P please? Hey, there might be a box in the imp in the supply closet. Isn't she helpful? Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. <laughs> okay. And C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, strays, or stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Okay. Click, click, tap, tap. Don't die. On the phone, huh? Texting during class. <laughs> Snake is great. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool hat in remembrance of you. Well, thanks, bruh. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Hmm. It's almost as if you should have, as they say, listened. Eat my butt, sir. Sue's vermine said egg, sad, uh, s said egg never hatch. <laughs> okay. Yo, Chris, I'm sorry. If I had just waited to be your partner, you wouldn't have to be hers. She's going to pound you to pieces, Chris, and then kick the butts of all those little pieces. Well, that's great. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just going to fail when she doesn't do any of your project. It's like we always say, Chris. You sues, you lose. Uh, that's not very reassuring, huh? It sure isn't, Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take? Okay. So she's eating chalk? Chris, didn't see you there. So she's a bully. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? I think she could take us all at once. Hmm. You can't even say? Chris.
Chris. Oh god, oh god, oh god, please don't hurt me, please! Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh! Quiet people piss me off. Are you Luffy? Think just because you don't say anything? I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Do you even care about school? Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. This music is awesome. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger, <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? Oh, God. She's drooling about losing your face. Oh, God, no. No. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not eating my bed. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Okay, I was, I was gonna answer, but she didn't let me. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. <laughs> no, I get it, I, I get it, my choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. What is choice, anyway? Locker is locked, okay. Covered in jo Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Wow, that sounds infuriating. Chris? What? Realize the baby classroom was a better... What? Realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? <laughs> hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah. Actually, let's not. Okay, well, I'm leaving. Chris? You just gonna skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Alright. God, can you walk any slower or what? Your legs are as big as me! Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Can we hold hands? Come on, freak. I like her. I don't know why, but I like her. I, I know she's a, she's a bully. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. What the heck? Hey Chris, is it me or... Is it really dark in there? It's like an empty void. It's like the soul of Satan. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Okay, alright. Well, I don't really have much choice. Either die by your hands or go into the blackness. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Okay. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. I guess. Uh... Kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. What do you think? Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> yeah, there aren't any walls. It's kind of like Doctor Who. Well, we've worked hard enough. It's bigger on the inside. If Alphys wants chalk so bad she can get it herself. Let's split. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Oh, boy. 
What's going on? The floor, it's... Oh my god, we're dead. Just like Bill and Ted. Bogus journey. It's falling in the pit. And we died. Thank you everybody for coming by and watching the Let's Play of... Uh... <laughs> Delta Root. Okay. Nah. Okay, um, and is this me? I guess it is me. Oh. Oh! I got stuff here. This is, oh! You can equip stuff. Wow, this is just neat. A wood blade. A wooden practice blade with a carbon reinforced core. That sounds so awesome. We have nothing for one or two. I guess these are armors, yeah. Uh... I guess we're good. I mean, it's... We got a practice blade, but it still sounds pretty deadly. Level 1 human. Body contains a human soul. Oh, that's what we're going for here. Master volume. Okay, so we can do stuff. That's cool. I could turn on full screen. But not yet. When we save and after that, I'll turn on full screen. The first part of the game, okay, like, you have to install the game, right? And, uh... It's a very sketchy installer, if you ask me. It, it just seems really sketchy. It's meant to be sketchy, okay? Um, the thing is... <laughs> oh, those footstep sounds are awesome. Like, it's to get you into the mood to play the game. And then, boom, you're playing the game, and it just starts up immediately. So I had to start recording as soon as it started up. So I had to stop the game and actually record desktop. Anyways, let's get back into it. At times, you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Ooh. So we saved. We're going to continue, though. That music. Oh, we can, we can move faster. Look at these things. What are they? It's like a baby's arm holding an apple. I don't know. It's too dark to see anything. That stuff flickering down there, I guess it's just flickering. I don't know what's going on with that. There's an eyeball here. Okay, so these are all going to say the same thing. Got those weird nipple things going on. I don't know what they are. They're weird, though. Oh, my goodness. We've got a pile of fluff. What's down here? What's over this way? Wait, which way should I go? My god, I'm confused. What's this? Something glowing inside. Take it. You got the glow shard. <laughs> the glows hard. Glow shard. What? What is the glow shard? Shimmering shard. Its use is unknown. Okay, so I guess it's important. It's too dark to see anything. Maybe it's money. Oh god, whoa! Alright, here comes the Undertale. Oh, Undertale action! It's like a bullet hell RPG, it's awesome. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. Eye puzzle. Okay. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. I blinded the old girl. Some of these eyes are bleeding. It's so cool. This. Just, I just love it. Now, what are these? Okay. It's like Stay Puff Marshmallow Man's remains. We can get up there somehow or slide down or something. What the heck is that black shadow? What's going on here? I bet it's behind this one. Oh my god, it's Bowsette. Nah. Hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll. C Chris. Phew. 
Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. We got cursing. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. I agree. Um, where is here, anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Do I have her in, like, a party? Oh, I do. Main axe. Beginner's axe forged from the mane of a dragon whelp. Okay. She has a lot more attack than I do. And she has magic power. So I'm just... Standard fair guy? I don't know. Level 1 mean girl. Won't do anything but fight. 50% rude buster. Deals moderate rude elemental damage to one foe. Depends on attack and magic. This is really cool. Let's go. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. Your legs are huge! Do you stop? Insulting me. we got to work together if we want to get out of here. This background looks so cool. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea of what they want? Oh my god, he's throwing spades! Run, Chris! Okay. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Undertale, too much Undertale. Ah. Oh, ah. There's no such thing as too much Undertale. Whoa, God. Ah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This isn't too bad. Get out of it. Ah, run. The spades. The ace of spades. Okay. Chris down here. Yeah, let's just slide down the giant thing. Uh oh. Uh oh, now it's side to side. More room for error. Oh my god. Oh, I got hit. Dang it, I suck. I suck butts. Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? Okay, okay, oh. <laughs> this is, this is great. Look at this background. So my HP. I took like, jeez, I took some damage. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. I know one thing, this place is cool, and it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts for some reason. Can I look at the candles? Looks like a shop, but the door is closed and no one's inside. It's locked. It's a question mark door. In, it's locked. Weapon shop, I'm assuming. These are all staples of the RPG genre. Oh wow, this is so cool. Look at this. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Eye puzzle. Yeah, we beat that. Castle town. Okay. That's what this place is called. Oh, we're going in. A castle. Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward. Both of you. I would do a voice, but that, that's going to get old. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Sure. Very well, then. I love a good story. Fade to black. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. I love this music. It was a legend of hope, of dreams. It was a legend of light, of dark. I love it already. This is the legend of Zelda. No, Deltarune. It's, it's Deltarune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, this is so cool, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. 
and the land will crack with fear. Ooh. Then her heart pounding. The earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, so pumped, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Is that you? Are you the prince? Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. This is awesome. I love this. This is awesome. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. How do you know our names already? I deeply believe you two are the heroes born of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you too have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, nah. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. What? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. B but Susie, without you, the... The whole world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! Oh my god, it's... That's totally a Kamek Koopa... Homage there. Ho ho ho! Are you the spade guy? He's got a spade for a face. The heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. <laughs> of the month? How many sons has he got? Who the hell are you? Um, the bad guy. You clowns want to want to seal our dark fountain, huh? and still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Good game. Eh, don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm, <clears throat> nice plan, kid. R really? Yeah, actually, mind if we use it on you instead? Okay, oh my god, yes! Uh, what should I do? Like, okay, if this is like Undertale, this is beautiful by the way, this, this screen is just great. Um, if it's anything like Undertale, if I attack him and hurt him, then won't that give me like a bad ending or something? What does act mean? Oh wait. Okay, alright, so... So how should we do this? Should I play it uh, like a don't hurt them? And, or should I play it like be friendly with them or what? I don't know. Um, let's warn him. Tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. Halt, oh, clowns. This bike is fueled by victory. Hey, that's what my bike's fueled by. Too. Okay. Uh to know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. Okay, let's compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. <laughs> his attack power went down. Okay, she's just gonna attack. Do whatever she wants. Oh, you make my feelings. Do wheelies. Aha. Oh, okay, 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 I get it now. I, I get it now. That's how you dodge attacks. Okay. 
All right. All right. So it's basically Lancer's thinking about chips. Why? Let's compliment him. You try to compliment Lancer again, but he sees it as an insincere. He sees it as insincere. His attack power goes back up. Okay, great, wonderful. So I guess I should just start attacking. Did you not realize I can mate myself, mask myself? Okay. Whoa. Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Okay, cool. Alright, it's time to attack. Okay, I gotta press it at the end. Ho ho ho! I'm the bad guy. Okay, <laughs> say hello to the bad guy. Reminds me of Scarface. Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. Alright, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. Ha ha ha! My losers. I gotta get home before dinner. This game is awesome. You won, got zero experience and 35 Ds. D money. Or whatever. I'm just gonna say Ds. Dollars. Are you two okay? <clears throat> um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Hello, everyone. I'm Rousey. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I bet. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... Best way to leave is east, right? Yes. That's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris! Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I, um, currently don't have any subjects. Okay, it's it's kind of cute now that I think about it. It's, it's like a bird or something. I've been waiting alone here, um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Yeah, sure, buddy. Let's try to find Susie. Uh, she must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. What's up here? Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can, I can bake you a yummy cake. Well, that sounds great, buddy. Appreciate that. I would love a cake. I'm quite hungry. Okay, so let's check out Rousey's stuff here. Rousey, Rousey. I don't know, I'm gonna say Rousey. Red Scarf. Scarf made of lightly magical fiber. That's cool. Level 1 Lonely Prince, Dark World Being, has no subjects. 16% pacify, 32% heal player. That's, that's cool. Fluffiness. He's got fluffiness. Okay, he's fluffy. Okay, so let's go. Rousey, the Lonely Prince, is now your ally. The power of Fluffy Boys shines within you. Alright, we're the Fluffy Boys. Looks like a shop, but the door's locked and no one's inside. Okay, I'm just gonna assume they're all locked. Okay, so this is East. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Sure. Okay, get prepared, Chris. Get ready. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul. The culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, I love the fight music, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So, please, take care to avoid the dummy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging. Okay. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Okay, let's try fighting. Wow, Chris, that was an amazing attack. Have you done this before or something? Okay, next let's try defending. 
simply defend and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you also, you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try defending. How do you do that? There we go. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP, how about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Let's try spells. Okay. Rousey casts Pest of Pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting. Through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a give it a hug? Okay, give it a hug. The dummy's tired. You hug the dummy. Oh, that's great, Chris. It gave me an option to hug Rousey. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its time its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing X it. Okay? If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. Okay. We're sparing. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end in a real battle. I'm really happy to have I had this chance to uh, teach you, Chris. You won. Got zero experience and two dollars. I'm just gonna say dollars. I don't know. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And uh, in case you ever need a refresher, I here I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. That's cool. So now I guess we can go east again. We're gonna go, oh wow, this door. Oh my, the great door is opened. No wonder Lancer was able to come through. This door looks familiar, I don't know why. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold, exactly, by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, all right? All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Seems like a good stopping point. Uh, next time we're going to go through this door and start probably an amazing star, uh, more than likely an amazing story. And I can't wait to see how it plays out. Really cool game um, already, just from the fighting and the dialogue. I love the dialogue. It's so Undertale, it's, it hurts, and it's awesome. I love the characters already. Even the classmates were, were really neat little characters. Even a little butthole in the middle there that sits by himself. <sighs> um, but yeah, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this LP. We're going to do a pacifist-only playthrough of this. I'm going to try not to attack anything anymore. I don't think it matters. After that first fight, I might have hit him, but I think it's going to be fine. We're going to do a pacifist run. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Spectral Star. Bye.